Overheal Priest got an extremely powerful new tool with Injured Hauler, a 3 mana 3 7 that deals damage to itself, but then if we can overheal it, it does 2 damage to all enemy minions. So combine this with Heartthrob, a 3 mana minion that summons when it's overhealed, and we have strong plays either from ahead or from behind. But not just that, we also have OTK potential with Heartbreaker Hedonis, a 4 mana minion that once again damages itself when we play it, but if we can overheal it, it shoots 5 damage at a random enemy. We can then use Cover Artist to get an extra copy of Hedonis, and then play a bunch of cards like Fan Club and Funnel Cake to shoot a bunch of 5 damage missiles at the opponent until they die. The damage potential of this combo was massively increased with the new legendary Pip the Potent, She's a 4 mana minion that copies all 1 cost cards in our hand, so we can get even more fan clubs and funnel cakes that deal 10 damage each. Stinkers. I mean, I assume this is just a full-blown control warrior, so I think this is definitely a Hedonis matchup. So we will simply play Injured Hauler as a Cathedral target. Maybe I heal this just because it's big. Obviously the AoE didn't do anything, but hey, it's a 5-8 that can't be executed now. There's my Hedonis. Uh, this took four damage, so... Eel Holy Nova doesn't get a proc. I'm just gonna play a Heartthrob here. Whatever, it kind of sucks. Probably Holy Nova to clean that up and get a 2. Howdy, Finn. I did not know this card had a signature version. Fizzle. I believe at this point this is guaranteed to hit a hauler, which is pretty good. Definitely want to be saving Pip for Funnel Cakes and Fan Clubs. Let's see what this can do for me, I guess. This Thirsty Drifter is kind of expensive, but I think it's good. Oh, I forgot there was a Heartthrob in here, too. So I'm pretty sure this is a Reno deck, because Dirty Rat and Fizzle are both uh, kind of hard to include if it's not Reno. So even though I want Pip to get me a bunch of fan clubs, I do need to be a little careful with them. Spring Water. I will shoot you. Boom. My heal or I'm buffing. I think I want to buff one of these. Okay. 
Okay, another funnel cake. So I can theoretically have four funnel cakes for two Hedonises, which is seven shots, right? And then it'd be really, it'd be trivial to hero power on top of that, so eight shots, basically. And a fan club. Okay, I think this is a good enough pip. Eight cards in hand, we're copying three, that is fine. Man, is this a Reno deck? I guess there's just not much reason to play the fan clubs, since the funnel cakes give me so much mana. I think even with just, without cover artists, I think the Sedonis does 30. But the opponent's above 30, and they have an 8-8. And it's, you know, they kill me by gaining armor, so... Not sure that 30 is even going to be close to enough. Oh, cover artist. All right, this should be lethal. And by should be lethal, I mean my opponent is mega dead here. All right, at least 15 over lethal. Very good. How does it feel, Odin warrior scum? Do I want two heartthrobs? Probably. Card is OP. And a holler. I guess holler is good if it's totem shaman, but surely it's not totem shaman, right? Boom, fan club. Oh wait, it is it is actually Totem Shaman. My brain didn't even register when I saw the tour guide. I don't think I coin hauler here. How do I play this? It'd be a lot easier if I could pick up an animate dud. Maybe I just play a heart a uh, a heart throb here. They probably value trade into it, but it puts everything in range of Holler, which is kind of good for me. I can only get two. I can only get one proc of Holler this turn, right? Which kind of sucks. Two five go. They did take the bait. Probably should have been pretty obvious bait, since I didn't use uh, this guy. But, you know, if they want to take obvious bait, that's fine with me. So, I can either Funnel Cake or Hero Power. I think it's just better to coin Hero Power, right? Boom. Wiped. What does Injured Hauler actually do to AoE? Does it throw cactuses at them? Not sure I understand the lore. Alright, so normally just playing a 3-3 hauler like this is like kind of bad, but what is Totem Shaman going to do about it? 
Can I heal that to death? Uh, this animate dead makes a heartbreaker, right? It's pretty easy to heal uh, three, three procs out of these haulers. I don't know how I get the other two damage. I mean, maybe I just put my faith in Hadanus. 50-50 to kill the big guy. Don't break my heart. Hate to see that missed 50-50. I don't really think it's that bad, though, because, like, what are they going to do? Send the 9-4 into my 4-8, and then I still have two injured haulers? It's kind of just fine, isn't it? They leave up a hauler, and then I haul the 9-1. As disappointing as it was... Oh, that's really disappointing. They had three gigant totems. Please hit the injured hauler. I believe this is a 50-50. The game is just too easy. Uh, everything dies here, right? I think it's better to start with this, so Hedonis goes face. Wait, was that actually right? Shouldn't Hedonis have triggered first here? Because this was the last one in play, so shouldn't this have done two, this did five, and then this did two? But that's not the order it went in. Nice. Well, I was pretty sure Injured Huller would shit on Totem Shaman, so it's nice to have the confirmation. Uh, Death Knight is probably just Plague. I'm not really sure what I need, but I don't think it's this stuff. My hand is kind of bad. I've got Handmaiden, but not enough spells to activate it. And then I've got, like, Animate Dead, which is going to get Handmaiden. So, kind of a bummer of a hand, but if I can just simply pick up, like, a Heartthrob or an Injured Hauler, the hand looks a lot better. Very clunky hand. Not a great draw, but it's been some mana. Unfortunately, kind of a bad breakpoint because this doesn't fully heal Hadonis. Or it doesn't overheal Hadonis, I guess it does fully heal it. But maybe I can go Hadonis, Springwater, Fan Club, and that'll be good. Okay, Heartthrob's a real card. Not the best four. Very good three, though. Okay. 
And then Handmaiden is going to be active next turn, which is great. Really unlucky that the opponent didn't have this card on turn four. Wow, they just leave up Heartthrob, huh? So I can play Hedonis here and heal it for three. And then I Funnel Cake, I go back up to four mana. Including coin. Eh, let's just see how things go. Oh no, this only gives me two mana back because Hedonis doesn't get fully healed. Excellent. Oh, I probably should have traded before doing this. Okay, but it went face anyway. So this gives me a six. One of the worst sixes in the game. But that's okay, because this turn was still really good. And we got this Fate Splitter, which gives a copy of the last card the opponent played. Okay, this card got changed, so I wasn't 100% sure what it did. So I guess it gives me this stalactite. Cool. It actually did functionally the same thing it did before its nerf, which is cool, I guess. Well, I do have cover artist for Hedonis. I guess it's pretty good here. Big heals. And then if I if I hero power this guy, it's not good enough, so we'll heal this one. Alright, cool. Opponents at seven. I've got this stalactite for three. My board is pretty sturdy, but even if they clear it, I can draw into a shadow touch squaldier, maybe. My board is almost clear. Even a zero mana flame strike wouldn't get the job done. Boom. Adonis. Cool. Probably Reno Shaman, right? Not too sure how to feel about that. A bunch of powerful but somewhat situational cards here. Oh, we love Heartthrob. Can't use the spring water here, unfortunately. Am I waiting for turn five heartthrob with spring water? Maybe. Actually, I'll just play that. That's fine. I can do turn four heartthrob with spring water, right? Because I can heartthrob, do this to get an extra dude, funnel cake to restore two mana, and then I can spring water. Another funnel cake. Another funnel cake means I can kill Doomsayer, right? God, I'm gonna look dumb if this doesn't work. Oh shit, I forgot. I can't spring water this unless it's damaged. I guess I'll hero power it then. What are you? Thorim Stormlord. I did not know this card had a, uh, a signature version.
Only need one more for Handmaiden. Well, what if I do this? This kills the frog. And it gives me Restore 6. So I guess I... Trade you. No. I trade you. And you. Boom. And then I make a 6. And it's a bad 6, but it's still a 6. Alright, cool. Sure, that kills one minion. Powerful. And then weapon kills Heartthrob. They have a 2-2. Two -two. Well, this is where Handmaiden's good, at least. What? You're not killing my Heartthrob? That seems silly. So I can click this button. It doesn't overheal either of these. I think this made sense. Still dominating the board super hard here. So Holy Nova does kill that because with Injured Hauler it does 4 damage. Okay. Flash Heal. I do have this Shadow Touch Gvaldir to make Flash Heal deal damage. Which puts me one off because this does not go face. This does not go face. If this hits the other Gvaldir I have lethal... But that doesn't seem very likely. Oh wait, no, no, no. Fish is lethal. Fish is lethal because it buffs the other fish. Nice. Maybe Flash Shield's a keep with Heartthrob. Excellent card. Man, we're both just chilling, huh? Oh, I'm not chilling anymore. Injured hauler. Who do we get? Oh. I mean, this card's kind of good on its own. So I could play double spell here, but if I play flash heal, it's going here. Well, then I guess I could just trade some stuff off, make some board space for this. Is it really worth casting Shard of the Naru, though? Might want it to push through a big taunt wall next turn. Let's see what this can do for me. 
Thirsty Drifter is definitely not playable. Terrible five. Maybe I should have just healed this injured hauler at some point this turn. But I think what I did was kind of fine. You know, cover artist for Disciple of Amatus is kind of hype. Does this all just go face? It all just goes face, right? No, no, maybe I should heal this. Wait a second, where'd you go? Maybe I can animate dead that thing. Unfortunate. Oh right, now I don't get this. Yes, it's Reno on turn eight. Just kidding, it's actually turn six. I'm having so much fun playing my favorite video game. I need to find a new king. Whoops. Man, I'm so tilted by Reno that I'm healing my base instead of my minion. Uh, I might still have an insane finisher here, though, because I have Pip with double Funnel Cake and two double Hadonis on nine. I just gotta stop letting the Reno get to me, but it's so fucking tilting. Okay, well, at least my opponent's either also dumb or being nice to me. Need nine mana for Hadana's stuff. Has anyone ever traded four shards of the Naru in one turn before? I guess maybe it's not that hard once you get toward the end of the game. Okay, so next turn is Hadana's cover artist funnel cake. I assume Pip is going to die, so the first Funnel Cake is only going to refresh one mana. So it's break even, basically. And then the next Funnel Cake should give me two mana. And the next one... I guess the next one also kind of only gives me two mana. Might be hard to ever play the second cover artist. Although I don't know that I'll need to. Timber Tambourine. I mean, it makes perfect sense, but I don't think I've seen that card this expansion. Animate Dead is really good just because it gives me a body. Cool. 